Hey John here, so I'm working on this, uh, well it says Toro, but uh, X Marks, uh, uh, Toro X Marks, doesn't really matter. These uh, commercial grade mowers, are uh, they kind of all use the same uh, steering, hydraulic steering pumps and whatnot. But this uh, this fellow's having a problem with, uh, he can't, he's got to compensate one way or the other to keep this thing steering, you know, instead of just forward with the two and back with the two, he's constantly banging into stuff because he can't steer it. Uh, and generally speaking, every time this happens or I get one of these in, it's always almost the same uh, same thing all the time now there are some linkages I'll take a little closer in here in a second but this is a simple fix an easy fix and it's what I go to immediately if somebody if I get one of these zero turns in whether it's commercial grade or residential I'll check this one uh, spot here because it's usually a, a ticket but let me uh, let me get you a little closer so underneath the seat here we got uh, you know some steering linkages hooked up to your pumps and uh, most of the time uh, it's not that although these can get out of whack but it's not going to you know, th this is a severe case of out of control. Can't you know? Can't keep. Uh, you just you know, no matter what you do, you're back on one, forward and the other one. You can't steer the thing. Uh, so, like I said, generally speaking, it's not that. It's what this uh, this this rod is hooked to. The linkage rod is hooked to this arm that plugs into the side of your pump. Almost always, I don't know if you can see that nut down there or that uh, bo uh, square bolt. It's almost always that thing became loose. And uh, what's going on is when you're going forward or backward, it's just sliding on that shaft. So it'll catch, you know, it, it's not like completely loose. It'll catch in certain spots. And then uh, and then when you go backwards, you know what I mean? It's just sliding around in there. And that, that was the case with this one. It's actually on this side over here, which you can't see. Um, so the easiest way, I mean, these, these pumps are pretty much uh, bulletproof. They, they, unless it's leaking oil, they're not going to have steering issues for the most part. They're pretty heavy duty. Uh, and if you do have an oil leak, it'll be in, on your input shaft. You'll see oil everywhere. Usually, it, that, if they're going to leak, it's on your on your spinning shaft there. Rarely does it leak out of the side input shaft because uh, that's only rotating 30 degrees or so. You know, it's not. It doesn't spin. But I guess it could leak out of there. But it, it's never, in my experience, a leaky pump that's causing any steering issues. It's or generally speaking not even the, the adjusters on the right I mean yeah you can adjust these but if you just grab a hold of them and there's no play in them it's generally not that but uh, how you can easily or easily tell if you have some of these steering dampers because this this uh, when you when you try to do this it's got a lot of a lot of pressure on it uh, it's just these dampeners just take the bolt off the dampener set that aside so these are kind of more free-flowing and then just watch the uh, be better on that side you can see it better um, watch the uh, well I didn't you know I didn't take off the dampener but uh, if you take off the dampener you'll be able to see that kind of move without moving the shaft and if you can't it's, it's no big deal actually you can you can get on a machine with these uh, dampeners off start it up and then because the dampeners are, are giving you a false sense of uh, you know, it, 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 you think you're you're pushing on the arm, but it's not. It's just the dampener that's causing this friction. If you unhook the dampeners, then you'll see if there's play in here as far as when you go forward and it moves, and then you go backwards and it doesn't move, you keep going backwards, doesn't, and then it catches. It's, it's just this, uh, this bolt. It's just loose. It's generally, most of the time, that's what it is. And uh, just tighten it up. Uh, well, set your, set your handlebars back to where, where they would be normal, and you could just see that... Uh, this arm is where it's, uh, you see how it's kind of in a neutral position here. And uh, you would just look at this side to make sure that they're kind of close to the same position. But And then just tighten them down. It should just do the trick right there. If you have to do an adjustment, you know, whether it's got to be uh, slid forward or backward a little bit, so be it. But usually if you just set them in a neutral position where the handlebars would be, and if you didn't touch any of the linkage here, you know, if you went to that first and messed up the linkage, then then yeah, your your arm's probably going to be out of place. But if you if you're watching this video and you had this problem, you didn't touch anything. Generally, these these rods don't get out of adjustment, especially if you see that the double nuts are still intact and there's no like, you know, your dirt space on your on your, uh, you know, if there, there was clean threads there, and you know, you might see oh yeah, that thing's been backed out or whatever. But uh, just go right to these bolts, these set bolts. They're just a little bolt that you know, uh, pinches your sha your input shaft there for your for your back and forth, and that's what it is. I right. yeah, I've been babbling too much here, so that's all I got. Thanks for watching.